Now in this video, I'm not going to be doing any metal detecting. Boo! But, I'm going to be asking a question that has been rattling around inside my head since I started metal detecting. When I first started, I was going in the fields around my house almost every day or every night when I finished work and it must have taken me two months to find a silver coin. It had been hit before by other detectorists since the 80s and into the 90s and then it had kind of been forgotten about. I was finding plenty of copper coins and cupra nickel but the silver was eluding me until I started digging the more bouncy signals on the A-track. The deeper targets that other people had missed. This is just ordinary pasture, it's never been turned over, so it has been hit before and I would say my silver to copper finds rate was ooh, at best one silver to every 50 or 60 copper coins in the first few months. Once I was in tune with the machine and I started digging the trickier signals, that find rate maybe went down to one silver to every 30. Now I wouldn't say I'm a master with any of my machines but now I would say in fields which are pasture or cultivated land which hasn't been used as a, a fate site or a picnic ground or anything like that I would say the find rate's probably down to about 1 in 20. So that's one silver for every 20 copper coins. I think that's pretty good compared to what a lot of people tell me they find. But I do dig deep, tricky signals. So the question I'm putting to you is, what's your silver to copper finds ratio? It's really interesting to find out. Obviously this will apply more to the UK viewers who have all those centuries of history in the ground, but I'll be quite interested to hear what the US viewers find as well. Not in parks, not in ball grounds or anywhere like that, but just in your ordinary fields. Because anywhere where there's been a park, especially in the UK, you had a lot of Georgians who had huge coins which are easy to find. You had Victorians, it was in a time of great wealth, the coins are all over the place. Edwardian, you had so many parks where people used to come to get out of the towns and the coins are absolutely littering the places. That skews the results. Take those out of the equation. I only want to know about fields. Just ordinary fields. What's your silver to copper finds ratio? Now I only want to hear about your experiences, not what you see on YouTube. Because there is clowns out there who feel the need views and have got to have silver in every video and sometimes they're going out and finding half a dozen silvers and only two coppers and it's, it's nonsense. I mean anybody with half a brain can see through that. I want your experiences, what you've found since you've been detecting, what's your ratio. I'm going to roughly try and illustrate what my ratio of finds are now. I don't know how accurate this will be. But if it compares in any way to yours, I'd be interested to know. So this is just for ordinary fields. There we go. I would say that's roughly my copper to silver ratio. 20 copper coins, ranging from the last couple of hundred years, to one silver. Notice it's one little silver. It's a little sixpence. Uh, I'm going to also compare the silver finds as well. And this is where it gets interesting. Sixpence is probably the most common one I find. So we'll start with the sixpences, because that's the most common one I find. I would say, for every 15 sixpences I find, I would maybe find one threepenny bit. Possibly for every 10 sixpences I find, I would find a shilling. Now maybe for every 10 shillings I find, I would find a florin, which is worth two shillings. I would say for every three florins I find, I would find a half crown. Now as far as the half crowns to crowns ratio goes, I would say at least 10 half crowns to every crown. That in fact is the only crown I have ever found. So really putting that into some sort of perspective with regards to the pre-decimal coppers and all the other muck that you dig in the search for silver, I would say you would need to dig at least that amount of stuff in fields to get yourself a florin, which is 
what I would class big silver. That's where big silver starts. Sixpences, shillings, they're just kind of ordinary silver. You do find them reasonably regularly. This is where the big silver starts. So taking it a step further, you might have to dig this amount of stuff to get a half crown. And if you're feeling really keen and you want to dig a lot of holes, you may well have to dig all of this stuff up to get a crown. As I say, I've only found one crown. And I've hunted a lot of parks, like Victorian parks, mansion sites. That's the only one I've found, and that was way back in the day before I even had a video camera. So what are the odds of finding a half sovereign or a sovereign? For the gold, unless you're lucky, which some people are. Some people can just pick a detector up, walk into a field and find a gold coin. It does happen. It's all down to look at the draw. But really, long term, you would have to dig thousands and thousands of old copper coins to find the gold. I haven't found any gold coins yet. Those two are out of my personal collection, which I bought years ago. I think I've got a good chance of finding gold because even though I can't get out detecting much, I do have some good sites where there was a lot of wealth associated with it. And there's also a few other sites where there was a lot of people camping there. So on those sites I've found thousands of copper coins, a lot of silver, but the gold is still eluding me. It will be there. And hopefully when I get my next detector, which is a super deep one, I will find it. But up to that point, it really gives me something to strive for. Every year, it's on my wish list. Hopefully this year, I can tick it off. But if I don't, it won't really bother me, because it'll be something else to aim for next year. Now your chances of finding gold coins, gold rings, big silvers, are always going to increase in old campsites, old parks, mansion sites. But you can find them in open fields where, to all intents and purposes, nothing really much happened. You still can find them. So don't discount any site at all. So if you haven't got an old park site, you haven't got a mansion site, don't worry about it. The chances are you will still find stuff in ordinary fields, around farms, footpaths. The stuff is out there. Yes, it is more concentrated in certain areas, especially areas associated with Georgian, Victorian and Edwardian times, but you can still find stuff pretty much anywhere. Now I would love to be able to show you me digging up stuff like what's in my collection every single video, four or five silvers, get in there, marvellous. But real life's not like that. So basically you're just going to see what I find. That's what detecting is about. It's about the thrill of the hunt. You never know what's out there. I could go into the field in front of my house now and pull up a hammered gold coin. Chances are very small of me doing that. But you never know. And that's the thing. You never know. That's what keeps us going out. The stuff is out there. And the more time you spend in the field, the more of it you're going to find. Big thanks to everybody who watches the videos. I will be getting out more once I get all this business stuff sorted out. I've actually shut my shop. I'm now working from home, finishing a few jobs off. It's fairly manic. Uh, there's so many orders coming in, it's unreal. But when that settles down, and hopefully it will soon, I'm going to get out on some decent hunts on some new sites. And I'm also going to have a new detector sometime in the future as well. So look out for that. I have been looking forward to getting a new deep machine for a while and my choice is going to surprise quite a few people so look out for that so silver finds the copper finds what do you find what is your ratio please let me know let everybody else know in the comment section i really want to find out what they are some will be better than others i think i've got a pretty good silver to copper ratio i don't know how that compares to anybody else though i'd like to see Thanks for watching.